Hey guys, it's Otto Winkler here and it's Alessandra over here. Hello. <laughs> so in this video we'd like to talk about uh, back pain and how to treat it, common mistakes people make when they try to treat the back pains and since Alessandra is very experienced with injury prevention and rehabilitation, I asked the expert to explain a few details. <laughs> Alessandra, could you please tell us something about yourself? When did you start your fitness journey? Nice. So I started working as a fitness instructor in 2001, then a bit more closely with back injury and Pilates in 2006 in Sao Paulo. So I was working with loads of people from banks and stressed people, like busy lives. And of course, stress and back pain, they normally come together. So that was my start, 2006, uh, way before you moved to Dublin. Mm, thank you. So by observing people, obviously, I would say you as, as, as me, uh, we learned so much more from working with people rather than reading books only. So there are certain patterns you can recognize. So based on your experience, what would you consider the biggest mistake people make when they have back pain and maybe they leave it for too long, maybe they don't treat it, maybe they do wrong exercises, get more confusion. Would you clear that out a little bit? For me, I think the biggest mistake is they take medication. They just go to some doctors that don't really want to treat. So they take anti-inflammatories and then try to keep going in life and just exercising, just kind of hiding the problem and not treating the problem properly. So then when they come back to us, they are completely horrible, they are in pain and then it takes much longer. If they were coming to us like before, we would have this, we, we would treat this like much quicker than actually it takes like now. Mm -hmm. mm. That's great actually, yeah. and. So what would be the, the number one reason for, for back pain? How it all start basically? Well, <laughs> I want there to... Are, yeah, I there would... are different things with different populations. For, for example, <clears throat> we work together in a gym here and you have a different kind of people working a little bit older. So most of their back pain is related to their arthritis. This is much more the age and then because I lived in a warm country and now I'm living in a cold country I can like uh, see this for sure in cold countries we feel much more pain related to the arthritis because of the lack of Sun so in here that's something I notice much more mm -hmm. but if you see people from 20 to 30s it could be two main things the first one trying to run too much or do exercises without any advice or talking to a professional. Hey. You start exercising too much. And reason number <laughs> two, work. Just sit in position. Uh, they stay too long in the chair. And don't get me wrong, like I know this is the work those days, but you can't stand up every, while, every hour. Stand up, stretch yourself move your hips a little bit or, you know, just get out of the chair. So this this big problem of staying actually eight hours there and not standing up a little bit, even to get, grab some water, yeah, that, that's a big deal those days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what will be then sort of recovery mode? So somebody has back pain related to, let's say, sitting 10 hours a day and maybe having bad posture. So what would you recommend as a stage number one? Guys, this is the least of the problems. I know you're, if, you're, if you're watching us and if you have loads of pain, you're probably saying she doesn't know what she's talking about. The pain is horrible. Yeah, but by the time you start to exercise two, three times a week, like 20 minutes, I swear, you're gonna be you're gonna get rid of this pain in like three to four weeks. It's unbelievable. You just need to move. You really need to move. Yeah. Magic pill. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise is the magic pill for loads of things. We just have to believe and do. Like just paying the gym is not enough. Most of the people in the gym pay and go like once a week. When we see how many times they are actually going, they think they are going much more. And when we can see in graphics they are really not going as much. They don't go even once a week. Most of them 
that's the truth, you mm. know. Uh, so we think we are busy, we think we are doing too much, but if you put on a diary how many times you go to the gym or you go for a run or you go for a stretch, you're going to see that in 30 days it don't do much. I mean, it don't do even the enough, which is just a small amount. We just need a small amount. Yeah, the, the main thing is the procrastination is so strong that we find excuses. We say we are busy, but we are just not prioritizing. Yeah, that's the word. Yeah. priority because yeah. you can spend half an hour on the Facebook and I really just need you doing 20 minutes of exercise is much less time than you actually spend in social media yeah as they say you get what you work for yeah <laughs> if you work to being social yeah you're doing well but if you're working towards your pain yeah you're doing wrong yeah one one question that I have from your experience what are the major muscle groups areas let's say lower back hip flexors what are the major muscle groups that are to strengthen so let's say somebody who doesn't really know what exercise to do and we will do later on we will, we're gonna do exercise a routine as well um, for as a follow-up for this video but what would be the main muscle groups that we should strengthen or release or release so lower back in a really light way because if you're not exercising don't try to do the most difficult exercise, just something light like a baby cobra. But as he said, we're going to go through this on the next video soon. Um, but basically, try to move your hips as well. So just a normal squat, like sitting on a chair and standing up 10 times every day. It's, it's going to be enough to try to get you moving a bit more, to put your hips in action. You know, like this steady state, seated all the time is really bad. So move yourself. Mm, yeah, makes sense. Actually, that was exactly what I found out working with my clients, that the difference between sort of passive flexibility and active mobility is just completely new world. And we're starting to realize more and more that mobility is really uh, such a such a name now for being actually be able to use what you have. Yeah. So sometimes we think of strength. But if you don't have the mobility and the flexibility to get there, so you're going to make yourself more like stiffer, you know. So we have to work on the mobility first. That's why small movements, like gentle movements, but moving every second day is going to be better. And then later on, like a stronger strength exercise. Yeah, yeah. So obviously the strong muscles will become tighter, will start to pull on all the connective tissues. And I found out that even the relationship to the knees, it's actually applying the same principles and uh, just just to get down there into the full range squat even if you hold something for some people that could be part of the cure for the knees uh, hips and lower back stiffness as well yeah. so yeah but you have to educate yourself you have to learn from the basics if you can't squat don't try you have to learn how to sit and stand up a good pattern pattern of movement like moving the hips sometimes we we bend too much forward you know so get someone to analyze your movements uh, just a small example some people would hurt the ankles like and then you're in the cast for a while and then later on you start to exercise and then you're running and you're feeling pain in your lower back so the mobility problem could be because of your ankle, because you didn't do that properly after the injury. And then your body gets, gets a way to try to work over through everything. And then your back pain could be related to the ankle. So a good instructor would be able to analyze your movements and to tell you how to work. So sometimes it's just not about moving the hips, but watching the body as a whole and try to work everything you need. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Would you recommend yoga or Pilates? Yeah, like I'm a big fan of Pilates especially because like everything comes from the center. So if you think every time you're going to lift your arm and, and this is really simple, your core is activated before. People with more back pain would have a delay on this. So this core activation would be slower in someone with no back pain. So if you think that everything comes from your core first, yeah, that's why I love Pilates. That's why I treat my clients with Pilates because we have to start here. Mm. And also the difference between simple exercises such as crunch, which could be sort of not very effective for more, most people because it's sort of 
it is not very practical and when you compare it with let's say exercise where you have to extend the arm and the leg together even though uh, on the knees and we will cover those exercises that you have to stabilize and that's kind of what, what I like to recommend to, to people is to look at the, the, the body from this few levels of fitness which is stabilization, endurance, strength, muscle building and power so nearly every recovery mode starts from the base, from the foundation. So imagine that you have a big house on a on a weak foundation. No matter how much strength you build, exactly. it, will, it yeah. will fall. It will fall. So it's the same with your body. If your core is not ready for that, you can try to lift, you can try to squat, but it's a matter of time. Something is going to go wrong. It could be your lower back, it could be your knees, but believe us, something is going to go wrong. So always look for the base we have to start on the base i know there is a big appeal and then someone is going to tell you i can make you fit in 30 days and then this can actually happen but um uh, what is the price you're going to pay for that you know so how are you going to be in three months later like maybe you need to stop everything because that was too much for you and then you're going to put on double triple of the weight and then it's going to be much harder to heal yourself because you're going to have an injury as well. So it's not just the, the weight that we have to work, it's going to be the injury to be treated. So yeah, always look for a good professional to start doing the things, someone that's going to give you a base and really teach you how to do the things properly. Yeah, that was actually a really, really good point that you made over there. And this is actually something I was coming across quite a lot in the last last couple of months I was meeting people who had injuries, people who trained for 20, 30, 40 years and they still you know have this active lifestyle and then comparing let's say most of my clients who ha hired me to help them to lose weight they actually didn't lose that much weight at all and I started to realize it's such a mental game everything the, the, the really whole fitness industry and the whole society these days is just like instant results give me results Pushing now then... but people don't realize that this is a lifestyle and the best the best thing is to think about would you be able to train like this till rest of your life yeah is this your one season block to shape up for summer holiday are you gonna eat like this forever can you handle that because i love eating don't get me wrong the eating part of your life has to be nice for you. It can't be a hassle. It can't be horrible when you look something and you say, okay, I'm just going to eat that because I'm going on holidays. I can't live like that. So think what you're doing with your life because you can do much better, much nicer and enjoyable for you, really. It's a nice coffee, by the way. Yeah. So I think that's it to wrap this up. On the next video we come up with some exercises for you uh check it out my youtube channel as well alessandro jenny change your life with more more tips i know my channel is in portuguese but you can watch most of the exercises and you can always ask me uh, and i can translate everything for you all right guys you can always learn portuguese as well oh yeah yeah nothing bad learning another language <laughs> see you guys see you see next you. video bye bye